It's no secret that here at BK Live, we enjoy celebrating a week well worked with a cocktail. As is our tradition, we will have a little drink today. But it's not beer or wine or a Cosmo. No, no, no. We're about to delve into the world of aperitifs. What's an aperitif, you ask? Well, here to help us wade through the supporting actors of the spirit world is a woman who has made her Brooklyn-crafted brand a standout, both in the shaker and straight from the bottle. She is the founder of Uncouth Vermouth, Bianca Moralia. Bianca, thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we're really happy to have Uncouth Vermouth back on BK Live. Can we ask you about the name? Was there inspiration behind such a great name for your company? Sure. Well, yes. There were several months of just harrowing thoughts every other second of a different name for the brand that, you know, wasn't right. And, you know, I'm from New Jersey, and I decided to kind of take the Bruce Springsteen route, and I pulled out a rhyming dictionary. You know, he used to yes. write his lyrics with a rhyming dictionary. The boss! The You're on the internet now, but yeah. <laughs> first word that rhymes with vermouth is uncouth, and I have a particularly foul mouth, and it suits my personality very well. My logo is uh, me in Empire Era, um, you know, silhouette, picking my nose. The <laughs> definition of the word uncouth is someone with bad manners, but, uh, you know, the etymology— I'm to my nose right here. I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> uncouth or move. But uh, etymologically speaking, the word uncouth is something that's very rare. So it applied to, oh. you know, my little project in many different ways, and, you know, it allowed me to channel Bruce Springsteen, so. <laughs> that's great. Well, you're channeling Bruce Springsteen, now I'm channeling uh, James Bond. but. For people who may not have made their way around to certain kind of cocktails yet, they just walk in and grab a beer or a simple Cabernet, mm -hmm. what is vermouth? So, you know, honestly, vermouth is wine. I wanted to jump in and correct you in your introduction, because vermouth is, is very much wine. It's mostly wine, in fact. It is wine-based, and it's what's known as an aromatized fortified wine. So in the aperitif category, which most aperitifs are wine-based, actually, but uh, vermouth in particular is an aromatized fortified wine, meaning there are edible plants. And I stress the word edible instead of using the word botanical, because, you know, some people who are making their own vermouth at home, I don't want you to think that if it smells good, that that means that you can automatically ingest it, um, particularly ah. if you're going to be extracting it in alcohol. Important um, to know. Right. Important to know. <laughs> My mission. So, so and uh, <laughs> what, for example, is the bottle you brought here? So can we I'm, pour that? Yeah, I make seasonal vermouth. So this is one of eight that I produced last year. I make anywhere up to ten uh, throughout the year using only New York ingredients. So you know, grapes from the North Fork of Long Island or the Finger Lakes region, and they're brought into Red Hook, Brooklyn, where my business is based, and crushed to tank, we make the wine at Red Hook Winery, and then I take it either finished or unfinished and turn it into vermouth by adding um, aromatic plants that I either forage myself. I have a 16-acre farm in Saugerties, New York, and then a few other farmers in the area I support as well. Wow. Um, wow. I, I, I got a question. Let's see. Let's say you see Aaron, me and Aaron order your vermouth, what do we do with it? We don't just drink it right away, right? Do you want us to smell it or sift it around, or is it, do we just hit it? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I would—I I don't know. I mean, I smell everything, I guess, but that's just me. But, yeah, I would definitely just treat it like wine. You know, you can have it on its own. And the it only thing— It smells great. smells great. Thank you. So this is, um, you know, multiple— Aromatic edible plants, uh, including some Bartlett pears from yeah, Blooming Hill Farm. You can smell nature, if I you may. Taste it? Yeah. It's very no. Let's taste it. Cheers. To uncouth Cheers. vermouth. Absolutely. Bing. Oh wow. Oh. So fortification oh. refers to jumping up the alcohol percentage by adding a fruit spirit. So in my case, it's native New York single distilled grape brandy. Oh. So everything is New York. No sweeteners. No additives. You know. It's like very subtle, like with the with the nose on it. I was like, this may be a little overpowering, but it, the taste is just very very subtle. It's just a slightly stronger glass of wine. Wow, it's delicious. Thank you. It really is. Tell wow, us why thank you. Decided you. To open your business in Brooklyn, Red Hook. Sure. Uh, well, I decided to open my business in Red Hook specifically because of the Red Hook Winery. I wanted to use their wines. I think that you know they make some of the absolute best wines in all of New York State, even though they are an urban 
winery and you know they were nice enough to let me and I didn't have any money when I started my company I still have no investors and you know the whole idea was that this was going to be a project for me to explore and then it turned into an obsessive lifestyle if you will well, thank you for that obsession because and thank you for this bottle it's it's absolutely delicious Thanks so much. yeah definitely how does so how does that work how do you become into what do you split time between your farm and Socrates and I Red do. Hook? I do, yeah. I, every single week, actually, I, I spend half the week upstate and half the week in Brooklyn. And when I'm in Red Hook, I'm in production or I am bottling. Uh, our tasting room is open Saturdays and Sundays. If anybody is ever walking around Red Hook, yeah. you can go and check it out. It's 250 Van Brunt Street. So That's Van great. Brunt Street is the only main road in Red Hook. It's very easy to find anybody on Van Brunt. Um, and go check out all of my friends down in Red Hook as well, because everybody in the neighborhood makes something. It's a very special place. You're amazing. So let's, let's bring in the other bottle if we can. I just want to say, you know, I drink wine often. Aaron does too, I think. But rarely yeah. do you meet the person behind it. So thank you for this dedication thank to kind you. of the quality of this deliciousness. Thanks so much. I mean, I, I you know, I, I take it very seriously what goes in the bottle. What's on the outside of the bottle is serious in a different way. You know, um, my logo, of course, is very silly. But the collage art, you know, these don't have names. It's all about the artwork and the collage. Collage art is made by a New Yorker as well, and his name is Matthew Rose, but he's lived in Paris for the past 25 years. And so he uses these crazy hundred year old French newspapers oh, to make this artwork. So now, you, and as you mentioned, you said these, these are seasonal. They are, yep. Okay. So this is a result of late autumn, early winter, and uh, you know. Right after that, I made a vermouth with butternut squash, and I had just uh, put in tank a red vermouth, uh, red colored with beets, bull's blood beets. Wow. And so, you know, it just kind of depends on what's available. And then I'm opening this sparkling wine for you guys. Woo! Oh, yeah! yeah. Celebration! <laughs> Not <laughs> cold run enough. Out of the room to try to get in here. I was going to actually make one of you guys open in case this uh, happened, but. Bianca, well, since we <laughs> have one minute, let's pour these and yeah. then plug your website again and we'll toast to uncouth vermouth. Sounds good. So, super quickly, this is just a very simple Gamay Cabernet Sauvignon sparkling wine made in ancient methods, second Beautiful. fermentation and bottle from the Loire Valley. And uh, this is brought into New York by Fifi's Import, which is a very special import company that only supports independent producers making natural wines. Beautiful. So I thought it would be an appropriate cocktail Cheers. companion. Cheers. To Red Hook, thank Uncouth you. Vermouth, thank you. everything Brooklyn. To you, Bianca, thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. Thanks yeah, for having absolutely. me. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thanks for letting to me you. make a mess. To you, Brooklyn. No, I love it. <laughs> That's great. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's springtime. Oh, yeah, Spring. that adds a great it's kick. Works, right? It's fantastic. That's really delicious. Equal parts. That's Equal a fancy, parts. fancy drink. And Uncouth removed. The only Thank one you. thing I want to say is once the bottle is open, keep it in your fridge. Yes. Yes. Done. Anything you under should keep it in your fridge because they're going to run out of the control room and try to jack it from you. Thank you, Uncouth Thank removed. You.